are you, the Department of Homeland Security, considering a new initiative that would separate children from their parents if they try to enter the United States illegally? Yes, I am considering uh, exactly that. According to a lawsuit just filed by the ACLU, a 39-year-old Congolese woman seeking asylum in the United States was detained along with her 7-year-old daughter. At first, they were detained together in San Diego. But then, according to the ACLU, for no clear reason, government officials took the child away from her mom and moved her to a facility in Chicago. She could hear her daughter in the next room screaming, Mommy, don't let them take me. When I talk to these mothers and I say to them, would you have come here if you had known your child was going to be taken away? They just throw up their arms and say, what choice did I have? If I stayed in my country, I might have been killed. My son might have been killed. So it's essentially gratuitous cruelty. This practice ends today. It is right now. What country is that? This is the United States of America. This is unprecedented. This is the worst thing I've seen in 25 plus years of doing the civil rights work. Is America going to stand by and watch this silently? Are we going to rise up with anger and frustration and call for demands to change policy? No one is illegal. The federal judge has ordered U.S. border officials to reunite separated families within 30 days. While a few have had emotional reunions in public, this morning, thousands of children remain in limbo. We remain deeply concerned about the hundreds of children, I mean, nearing a thousand, that have yet to be reunited with their parents. We don't know how and when these kids will be reunified. It's likely that thousands more have actually been separated than previously reported. I think they knew what they were doing when they took the children away. That was intentional. They deliberately inflicted harm on these children. Now trying to put them back together, I think they just don't know what they're doing because they simply didn't track these families. If you ask, will we fight? Yes, we will fight. President Joe Biden takes executive action on immigration. The first order signed today to try and get children reunited with their families. I want my families together. There are hundreds and hundreds of families who we still haven't found. How many more children are we willing to subject to a lifetime of pain? It is not temporary. It is forever. President Biden's actions establish a family reunification task force. Task force aimed at reuniting children who were separated from their families at the border. They're going to have 120 days to report back to President Biden on their progress. We not only need to get all these families back together, but the Biden administration needs to ensure that this never happens again.